CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 11 Perimeter and Area Page 210 11.3 Area of a Parallelogram We come across many shapes other than squares and rectangles. How will you find the area of a land which is a parallelogram in shape? Let us find a method to get the area of a parallelogram. Can a parallelogram be converted into a rectangle of equal area? Draw a parallelogram on a graph paper as shown in figure 11.101. Cut out the parallelogram. Draw a line from one vertex of the parallelogram perpendicular to the opposite side. Figure 11.102. Cut out the triangle. Move the triangle to the other side of the parallelogram. What shape do you get? You get a rectangle. Is the area of the parallelogram equal to the area of the rectangle formed? Yes, area of the parallelogram is equal to area of the rectangle formed. What are the length and the breadth of the rectangle? We find that the length of the rectangle formed is equal to the base of the parallelogram and the breadth of the rectangle is equal to the height of the parallelogram. Figure 11.11 Now. Area of parallelogram is equal to area of rectangle, which is equal to length multiplied by breadth, which is equal to L multiplied by B. But the length L and breadth B of the rectangle are exactly the base B and the height H respectively of the parallelogram. Thus, the area of parallelogram is equal to base multiplied by height, which is equal to B multiplied by H. Page 211 Any side of a parallelogram can be chosen as base of the parallelogram. The perpendicular dropped on that side from the opposite vertex is known as height or altitude. In the parallelogram ABCD, DE is perpendicular to AB. Here, AB is the base and DE is the height of the parallelogram. In this parallelogram ABCD, BF is the perpendicular to opposite side AD. Here, AD is the base and BF is the height. Consider the following parallelograms. Figure 11.12 Find the areas of the parallelograms by counting the squares enclosed within the figures and also find the perimeters by measuring the sides. Complete the following table. We have a table with five columns. Let's read it row-wise. Parallelogram A Base 5 units Height 3 units Area 15 square units Perimeter Dash Parallelogram B Base Dash Height Dash Area Dash Perimeter Dash Parallelogram C Base Dash Height Dash Area Dash Perimeter Dash Parallelogram D Base Dash Height Dash Area Dash Perimeter Dash Parallelogram E. Base, dash, 
height dash area dash perimeter dash parallelogram f base dash height dash area dash perimeter dash parallelogram g base dash height dash area dash perimeter dash you will find that all these parallelograms have equal areas but different perimeters now consider the following parallelograms with sides 7 centimeters and 5 centimeters figure 11.13 page 212 find the perimeter and area of each of these parallelograms analyze your results you will find that these parallelograms have different areas but equal perimeters to find the area of a parallelogram you need to know only the base and the corresponding height of the parallelogram try these find the area of following parallelograms 1 figure is given 2 figure is given 3 in a parallelogram ABCD AB is equal to 7.2 centimeters and the perpendicular from C on AB is 4.5 centimeters 11.4 area of a triangle a gardener wants to know the cost of covering the whole of a triangular garden with grass in this case we need to know the area of the triangular region let us find a method to get the area of a triangle page 213 Draw a scalen triangle on a piece of paper. Cut out the triangle. Place this triangle on another piece of paper and cut out another triangle of the same size. So now you have two scalen triangles of the same size. Are both the triangles congruent? superpose one triangle on the other so that they match you may have to rotate one of the two triangles now place both the triangles such that a pair of corresponding sides is joined as shown in figure 11.14 is the figure thus formed a parallelogram Compare the area of each triangle to the area of the parallelogram. Compare the base and height of the triangles with the base and height of the parallelogram. You will find that the sum of the areas of both the triangles is equal to the area of the parallelogram. The base and the height of the triangle are the same as the base and the height of the parallelogram respectively area of each triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by area of parallelogram which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by within brackets base multiplied by height since area of a parallelogram is equal to base multiplied by height which is equal to 1 upon 2 within brackets b multiplied by h or 1 upon 2 bh in short try these 1 try the above activity with different types of triangles 2 Take different parallelograms.
divide each of the parallelograms into two triangles by cutting along any of its diagonals. Are the triangles congruent? In the figure 11.15, all the triangles are on the base AB equal to 6 cm. What can you say about the height of each of the triangles corresponding to the base AB? Can we say all the triangles are equal in area? Yes. Are the triangles congruent also? No. We conclude that all the congruent triangles are equal in area, but the triangles equal in area need not be congruent. Page 214 Consider the obtuse angled triangle ABC of base 6 cm. Figure 11.16 its height AD, which is perpendicular from the vertex A, is outside the triangle. Can you find the area of the triangle? Example 6. One of the sides and the corresponding height of a parallelogram are 4 cm and 3 cm respectively. Find the area of the parallelogram. Figure 11.17 Solution Given that length of base B is equal to 4 cm, height H is equal to 3 cm, area of the parallelogram is equal to B multiplied by H, which is equal to 4 cm multiplied by 3 cm, which is equal to 12 square centimeters. Example 7. Find the height x if the area of the parallelogram is 24 square centimeters and the base is 4 centimeters. Solution. Area of parallelogram is equal to b multiplied by h. Therefore, 24 is equal to 4 multiplied by x, figure 11.18, or 24 upon 4 is equal to x, or x is equal to 6 centimeters. So, the height of the parallelogram is 6 centimeters. Example 8. The two sides of the parallelogram ABCD are 6 cm and 4 cm. The height corresponding to the base CD is 3 cm. Figure 11.19. Find the 1. Area of the parallelogram. 2. The height corresponding to the base AD. Solution. 1. Area of parallelogram is equal to B multiplied by H, which is equal to 6 cm multiplied by 3 cm, which is equal to 18 square cm. 2. Base B is equal to 4 cm, height is equal to X. Say, area is equal to 18 square cm. Area of parallelogram is equal to B multiplied by X. 18 is equal to 4 multiplied by X. 18 upon 4 is equal to X. Therefore, X is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Thus, the height corresponding to base AD is 4.5 centimeters. Page 215 Example 9. Find the area of the following triangles. Figure 11.20. Solution. 1. Area of triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 BH, which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by QR multiplied by PS, 
which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 4 centimeters multiplied by 2 centimeters which is equal to 4 square centimeters 2 area of triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 bh which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by mn multiplied by lo which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 centimeters multiplied by 2 centimeters which is equal to 3 square centimeters example 10 find bc if the area of the triangle abc is 36 square centimeters and the height ad is 3 centimeters figure 11.21 Solution Height is equal to 3 centimeters. Area is equal to 36 square centimeters. Area of the triangle ABC is equal to 1 upon 2 BH or 36 is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by B multiplied by 3. That is, B is equal to 36 multiplied by 2 upon 3 which is equal to 24 centimeters. So, BC is equal to 24 centimeters. Example 11. In triangle PQR, PR is equal to 8 centimeters, QR is equal to 4 centimeters, and PL is equal to 5 centimeters. Figure 11.22. Find 1. The area of the triangle PQR to QM Solution 1. QR is equal to base, which is equal to 4 cm. PL is equal to height, which is equal to 5 cm. Area of the triangle PQR is equal to 1 upon 2 BH, which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 4 centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters, which is equal to 10 square centimeters. Page 216. 2. PR is equal to base, which is equal to 8 centimeters. QM is equal to height, which is equal to dash. Area is equal to 10 square centimeters. Area of triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by B multiplied by H. That is, 10 is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by H. H is equal to 10 upon 4, which is equal to 5 upon 2, which is equal to 2.5. So, QM is equal to 2.5 centimeters. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.